Hey guys, what's going on? Jerome here from Awesome Sauce Films, bringing you guys a little bit of my mini Uzi Akimbo Javelin class uh, search and destroy game. And this is something that's a little bit more my speed. Uh, I don't know if you guys watched the video I just uploaded earlier. It was a uh, sniper search and destroy video. And uh, that's something that I don't normally do because, to be honest, I'm a terrible sniper. Actually, I'm kind of just terrible at taking any game for real, I guess you could say. I'm kind of more of a... Uh, a fun kind of guy and uh, I find difficulty <laughs> playing video games for the real deal. So this is kind of just one of my various classes that I'll play with when I just want to joke around and have a good time with friends perhaps. My other one is definitely my explosives class. That's my specialty. And ah, see this is one thing. I always get mad when uh when there's just always that, that one sniper in the back of the map. I understand their purpose is to be a sniper, but but sometimes it's just it's a little unnecessary. I don't know. I just I find it a little annoying. I know what you guys, like, I know a lot of you guys snipe, and I, I know it's bad to say, but it's just, you gotta admit, it pisses you off when you do something stupid like that with a mini Uzi, and then the guy in the back of the map's like, I'm so fucking serious right now! And then he pulls out the intervention and just blows your brains out, and he's like, yeah! Yeah! I'm gonna go beat my meat to this! And, like, he puts it in a montage, and, like, puts on these fancy colors. Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself, but the point is, I just, it always pissed me off when things like that happened. And, uh, I don't know why, my capture card's been acting like a total dick today. I don't even know if it's recording this. I really hope it is, but, uh, I was having a little trouble with it earlier, and it was kind of, uh, disturbing me. Uh, very much so. So hopefully it recorded, it, actually, hopefully, in itself, oh, fucking hell. Hopefully it recorded the sniper gameplay, but, um, not only that, I'm kind of just right at this moment hoping that it's recording this, too, because, to be honest with you, it's not looking hopeful. It's, it's really pixelated. But, um, something really cool. You know, just one of those days where, where something cool and awesome happens, and you're just like, yeah! Well, that happened to me today. I come home, and I look at the table, and for some reason my mom has these weird drawings on the kitchen table. I'm like, why are there all these weird drawings there? Like, what what's going on? So I look at the drawings, and I start remembering, I'm like, holy shit, I think these are from fourth grade. And I start looking, and we always signed them at the bottom. And before I even look at the signature, I go, I think Adam drew this, because I remember. And it was for my friend Adam. I'm like, holy shit. So I start picking through them, and I find pictures that me and, uh, you know, a few of my friends, and you guys more importantly know, Mitch, like, Beijing Canadian, drew in fourth grade. So I have a stack of them. I would say it's about 25 to 30 thick, and I really want to do a video of it. Because it's, it's really funny to see what we drew. At least, maybe not my friends, but at least the ones that uh, me and Mitch drew, I want you guys to see because they're actually really funny and uh, I figured I could just do that in a video or something for uh, just to have a little bit of fun you know what I mean maybe like antagonize Mitch about it because I might have him on campfire stories one time so I might flash that image on the screen be like uh Mitch what do you think about this picture and I'll send it to him see what he thinks but um yeah so I think we learned our lesson we're not gonna go run out there to that little like bunker and ah good thing we didn't but uh, we're kind of off to a bad start that means for our team so Someone's got to pick up the slack here. Hopefully not me, because I am not good. But it might end up being me. Holy shit, holy shit, there's like so- I think they saw me. I'm just gonna keep running, pretend I didn't see them. Maybe if I pretend I didn't see them, they'll pretend they didn't see me. That's how it works, right? Hopefully? Maybe? Okay, probably not. Yeah, I'm screwed. Okay, but regardless, let's see- oh my god. The ultimate javelin kill! Yeah! Here we go, here we go, here we go. It's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be fantastic. Oh! You're going down anyway, asshole! <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. I don't even care that I, I got owned right there. That was hilarious. God, you gotta love a good javelin kill, because you know it pisses people off. It really, it really does piss people off. So it's it's well worth it. And holy shit, my cousin's in the game. Oh, jeez, I should probably put my mic on soon so I can talk to him. I didn't even... I didn't even realize he was going to be joining, and now another one of my friends joined the game. What the hell? Apparently it's join Jerome while he's filming day. Hopefully they won't mess up my insaneness. Oh wow, my cousin's been in the game the whole time. He's 0-3 right now. Holy shit, I did not know he was in the game. Okay, well, cool. Guess I'll game up with him later. Once I'm done with this commentary. I might try and do something cool for one of my next videos, a USP only, but uh, that might be a little extreme for me, because I'm not used to doing good. I kind of just fool around and just, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm no one that's good at Call of Duty, so no need to really try and push myself to use such a try-hard class, but maybe if I, I akimbo it, then maybe there's a chance I can do good, I think I might, I think I might do that, I don't think I'm gonna go attachment-less, so, uh, attachment-less, why does that not sound like a word? I don't know, 
but not to kind of change the genre around a little bit, but uh, I don't know if you guys watch, I figured it's kind of like a gamer's like TV series anyway. Um, what's it called? Uh, the Walking Dead, I think it's called. Honestly, I think it's going to be really cool. I think the, wa I don't know if you guys have seen the first season, but on The Walking Dead is this zombie series where it just takes place as a few, Coco! Sorry, I like antagonizing my dog when she's being annoying. Um, yeah, I have a problem. Uh, so basically what it is is these, like, people that are just living in America, just stranded survivors, uh, after a zombie apocalypse. And it's just all about them trying to secure themselves near Atlanta, Georgia. And, uh, they just put out a trailer a little while ago at, uh, Comic-Con for, uh, season two of, uh, The Living, of uh, The Walking Dead. I always think Living Dead, I don't know why, but of The Walking Dead. And uh, it looks really amazing. It looks just as good, if not better, than the first season. And to be honest with you, I thought the first season was phenomenal. I didn't think there was anything that I would I would really want to change. I really just, I don't know, I, I thought it was everything that I wanted it to be. And to be honest, I was kind of happy that someone picked up the whole zombie genre thing. Because it always surprised me how, I know there's a good amount of zombie movies, but it always surprised me that there's not really many zombie TV series. If there has been any, I, um... None come to mind besides The Walking Dead, but uh, perhaps I'm just perhaps I'm just stupid and uh, media-based illiterate. But uh, I'm pretty sure that we don't really have many zombie-based uh, TV shows. And God dang, I get C4 by my friend. Damn it, people are ridiculous. And that's one thing that I always found like I don't know. I just found it not annoying, but I just found it like I don't know. It always pissed me off when when if I if I don't have my mic in. And if you keep inviting me and I don't invite you to a game, it, it probably means I'm I'm filming. Like, if you're a friend of mine, I'm not ignoring you, obviously. If, if you weren't a friend of mine, I wouldn't have you on my friends list. It, it, it should probably imply that I'm filming or something of the sort. Um, <laughs> but I guess the message doesn't get across to some people. But the thing that pisses me off the most, I don't mind when they, when they join my game or anything like that, but it always pisses me off and they kill me in embarrassing ways, like that when my friend throws a C4 from a riot shield and just blows my face off. Or one time I was playing and my friend Shioshi joined in and I was doing amazing. I was going something ridiculous like 20 and 3 maybe, which is good for me. It's not great, fantastic for everyone else in the community, but yeah, it was, that's good for me. I'm not good at this damn game. I'm going 20 and 3 and like, I think it was you know, Domination probably. And he joins in and the amount of, in a matter of I think two minutes he killed me something like four times, him alone, and I honestly wanted to rip his sack off because it was it was ridiculous. He he single handedly ruined a commentary of mine and I was I was mad. <laughs> But uh, that's the one thing that's nice about uh, live commentaries when you're not trying to do good like this. You're just trying to play for fun. So you don't got to worry if a uh, friend comes in and tries ruining it. Or you don't got to worry if you just do terrible. Because everyone knows you're just trying to have fun. They know this isn't for real. So, I don't know. I feel a little more, uh, a little less scared. A little more free. And holy shit. I hate when it EMPs at first because you go blind for that split second. This is just weird though. Oh my god. Ugh, that's an enemy. Done. I'm scared now. Holy shit, he's in the bushes. See, that's my friend in the bushes. Got him. Damn. I'm, I'm on a roll right now. EMP. I'm doing better EMP than I play regularly. That's That's got to tell you something. Probably that I'm bad. <laughs> but uh, yeah, apparently I play better EMP. I should keep that in mind. <laughs> One thing that I found cool was uh, you guys always in the community have always been very generous for the most part. I mean, I, I don't really, I don't think of any time that you guys haven't really been that generous. But uh. There's just one guy who just went above and beyond for me. He's making me a custom controller. And the cool part is he's putting, like, LED lights. He's putting a paint job on it. He's, uh, on the side, he's writing, like, you know, Jerome ASF or something like that. I forgot what I asked him to put. He's doing all this. He's doing it completely for free, simply because he just wanted a little exposure. But mostly because he said he just wanted to uh, make me a free controller because he charges other people for it. And he just thought... You can try and give something back, and it's a really, he's really cool. I'm hoping that he pulls through on it, because I'm, I'm really interested and uh, excited to see what it turns out to be, and if it does, I'll take a picture of it, put it online, and, you know, I'll make, like, a quick little shout-out to the guy, and, uh, you know, because it's really, it's awesome what he did for me. It, well, what he's hopefully going to do for me. I don't really know yet, but let's hope he pulls through, because I think that'd be really cool if I get that custom controller. But, uh, anyway, guys, it looks like that's the end of our time. We uh, ended up first on our team, 5-5. Five and five. But uh, obviously not the best KD in the world. 
But uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, please stay tuned for more. And also, keep those honest ratings rolling in. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike the video, dislike it. I don't care. Just do one. It lets me know that I'm doing something right or I'm doing something wrong. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching, and good night.